Statistics for Business, Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is all about data. Data, data, and data. We have lots of data. Companies have lots of data. And so it's very important to not have a data soup where you can't make sense of what, what the data is, right? So it's very important to have data organized and have metadata or the variables that represent the data. Let's take an example. Amazon probably sells lots of uh, goods almost every second, almost every minute. Lots of data that it has around what was it that they sold and what product was sold, what price was it sold, who did they sell to, which country do they belong to, what was the average price in the last 10 days for that person that has bought, how often do they come to the website, and so on and on and on and on. There's lots of data that Amazon has. So now, if you don't organize it, then you can't really make sense of the data. So very first step is to organize the data. And you organize it in, let's say, a simple table where you have um, the data that's related in one column, right? Let's say this is the student ID. Let's say you were looking at just the cross-sectional data of all the students on Amazon that are buying from Amazon, right? So we have a student ID, student name, is, is, is this person a club member or an Amazon Prime member, let's say. And then what was their purchase amount for this product? And what was their assessment, the grade assessment? What was, how are they doing in their grades? Let's say Amazon, let's say somehow figures it out. Let's say they have that data. Because let's say they're giving incentives to certain products. I'm just, I'm just making up this, making this up. So now let's say they have a great assessment for that student. And they also have their monthly expense, let's say somehow. If this was the data that Amazon has, or let's say some other third party has, it got the data about the expense from some data source, it got the data about Amazon purchases, it got data about their tests and scores, and then it put together into this one format. So the thing here is that each of this is now organized. This column is an ID column, right? The metadata is that this all of these are ID, so we name them ID. Metadata here is name, member, and so on and so forth. These, these are called metadata, but it's also called data variables. This is a new concept. You need to understand what kind of data it is. And that's what the data variable tells you. Because if you don't understand what kind of variable it is, you can't use any statistic on any variables. Only specific statistics go on specific variables. So let's understand what are the two types of categories of variable. The categorical variable, and then numeric variable. Numeric variable could be a ratio or a number. Categorical variable could be an ordinal or a nominal. Ordinal order, right? So it, the variables have some sort of a, a order. You can, you can say, hey, this is greater than this, this is better than this, etc. So a categorical variable could have an ordinal categorical variable or a nominal categorical variable. The difference being that ordinal variable has an order. We all have taken uh, the NPS surveys or this, you know, product satisfaction surveys. You know, they have this thing called, hey, how happy are you working at company X? And then they say, hey, I strongly disagree that I, I am happy and I strongly agree that I'm, I'm, I'm happy, right? So then you can have a number associated from one to five. In this case, look at this. This is a category, right? And you also have order. So this is a categorical ordinal variable. So if more people say that they are happy, then it's actually better. And five is better than three, better than one. So this is called the Likert scale, and this is this is used quite frequently in NPS surveys, CSAT surveys. So now that we understood the variables, we took an example. And now let's look at let's look at real life. Uh, what are these? Let's try to see and work it out. What kind of variable is ID? ID is it uh, numeric? Yeah, it's numeric, so I'm just gonna say this is numeric. Um, and then student name. It's not a number, so it's not numeric. It's categorical, but is there an order? Can you say like K is greater than MIM or MIM is greater than K? No, you can't do that. So it's not ordinal, so it's nominal. So this is nominal and categorical, right? Categorical nominal variable. Club member, yes or no? Yes and no, it's not numeric, it's category. Is it ordinal? Is yes better than no? No. So it's, it's nominal. So this is categorical variable, but nominal. See, now we saw the difference between nominal variable and uh, uh, this is nominal. This is also nominal, actually. You're not yet seeing a categorical variable that's ordinal. Grade is that one. 
grade is categorical variable that is ordinal, right? So you can easily say, hey, getting a grade A is better than grading a, a grade B, right? So this is a categorical variable that's ordinal. And these two are numeric, right? How much was the Amazon last purchase price and what is their uh, monthly expense? And this, you could also say this is a ratio for number of days, right? So certain months have less number of days. Uh, and so you could say, hey, you should, it's a ratio of expense per number of days, right? So we saw that, hey, understanding what kind of data we have, what are the variables, is very important because statistics that go on categorical ordinal variables don't necessarily apply to nominal variables. And those that go on numeric variables don't apply on categorical variables. There's a whole chapter right after this which just talks about like how do you look at categorical variables? How do you look at numeric variables? And what kind of statistics we should use? And they're different. And we need to understand what kind of plots we use, what is intuitive, what's not intuitive, how do we like not mix them up? It's very important. So the very first step, aggregate the data make sense out of it, get variables, understand the type of variables, what kind of data it is, you might very quickly see that the data that you have is not clean. Certain times, certain rows are just missing data. And then this might be a Y, N instead of a yes and a no. And so, so you might have to go and clean the data. A lot of time you will spend cleaning the data. So that's an important step because if there's garbage in to your data, if you have garbage data, you're gonna get garbage out in terms of analysis and decision making. So. Cleaning the data is very, very important. So you might pay a lot of money to a lot of these custom, you know, uh, ad data agencies who, who collect all of this data because they're doing a lot of work. So you might have to be ready to pay the data. But there are a lot of sources like CompuStats, uh, Yahoo Finance for stocks, um, uh, and many, many such companies, uh, and even government websites like Fred, uh, Federal Reserve Economic Data for Unemployment Numbers and others where you can get really good quality data. So good quality data is important. Understanding the variables is important. I told you why, because you can't just add up all of the yeses and then say, hey, we have so many yeses and yeses is better than noes. No, it may be not. Maybe certain times not having a membership is better, etc. And it's also important to understand like how much data do you have, right? Like how many rows? So this, this, this factor N is important. How many, for, for are, you, are you having enough data sample? Or are you just making a decision based on one or two data points? That, that makes no sense. So this number N for every analysis is important. Understanding the variables is important. Also understanding your data is important. There may be lots of biases. Like who collected this data? Did they just look at a cross-sectional cross data in a one particular point in time? Or did they look at over a long period of time? Is there like time series of all of this? Or it's just like very specific. Are they looking at specific segments, right? Maybe you find out that all of this data was just used in a specific city. That information, that variable is not there, it's hidden. It's, it's, a, it's a hidden variable here. Um, so it's very important to know when was this data collected? Who collected this data? Why did they collect this data? What was the motivation? You could very quickly find out that there may be biases into this. How was this collected? Was it just one sample? And what was the source, right? Like is it clean data and, and all of that? So understanding your data is very important. I told you why, because you will use the right statistics for it. And, and aggregating it, organizing it is important. But let's say you have a computer uh, in your, in your, serving your website, and let's say you have hundreds of these computers. Each of them are serving like thousands of requests per second, let's say. So now you'll have like, you, you can't like have like terabytes and terabytes of those requests. You might have to aggregate certain, like per minute. And that's important because again, the data that you look at should be reasonable. Should be um, you can use computers to crunch through a lot of the data, but it should be in the light light granularity. Not too small, not too big, right? So it's important to have aggregation. Important to have uh, some sort of uh, uh, metadata and variable cleaning and understanding the biases that may be going into this, so that you can actually clean up. You can maybe get more data sources, right? Um, and you can use some of those data sources available out there to make good data decisions. So we learned a lot of things today. Variables, we learned about variables, we learned about uh, organization, we learned about categorical. The biggest new learning for me was that there's this ordinal variable and nominal variable. Ordinal, order, nominal. There's no order, that's a categorical. And what kind of variable, what data you use? Very, very important. So let's, in the next few chapters, we'll go straight into categorical and numerical and understand more. Stay tuned for the next one.